It seems like cloud providers can't launch new products without giving us an entirely new buzzword to memorize. The buzzword for today is object storage, or because Microsoft has to be special, blob storage. It's the same thing. But first, let's review traditional file storage. When you store a file on your hard drive, it's stored in a particular path. And that path is just a textual representation of where the file exists in the hierarchy of directories. The only thing stored in that file is the file itself. Other system metadata, stuff like the timestamp, right, when it was last modified, and permissions are actually stored in the file system not the file. Okay, so what makes object or blob storage different? One important distinction is that in the object paradigm, file paths, they're not really nested within directories. In fact, directories are sort of just a namespacing illusion. Directories in an object storage system are really just a naming convention, a, a prefix on the key. The actual directory doesn't exist. You can't have an empty directory in one of these object storage systems. So an object's key is very similar to a file's path, and you can list everything with a specific key prefix, but it's, it's just not quite the same as there actually being a directory there. The other big difference is that the file's metadata, like permissions and when it was last modified, that kind of stuff is actually saved right alongside the object itself, not by the overarching file system. So why introduce this new paradigm at all? Did the cloud providers just need a new marketing term for their latest conference? Well, that might also be true, but there is an important technical distinction. Object storage was designed with distributed cloud storage in mind. Traditional file storage has a much harder time scaling across many different machines and many different servers. By making objects more self-encapsulated than files, and by using a flat namespace instead of a hierarchy of directories, it's easier to scale systems like AWS S3, Google Cloud Storage, and Azure Blob Storage than it is to scale a traditional, say, Linux file system. The goal being to run these systems across thousands of servers in sometimes different data centers.